Hey guys, it's Chrysler. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video and I actually didn't know that it was Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. It's a very long title. I had to practice it, not gonna lie. But it's the end of the month and I didn't even know that this was happening. I just finished watching Jen M's video and apparently her friend Amy, Amy Vagabond, I also am subscribed to her and watch her on a regular basis. She created this tag. I actually haven't done a tag in a very long time, but I have done some ethnicity tags. I think I've done two. They're from years ago, probably like four years ago, very long time. Those are the days where I used to straighten my hair all the time, so I definitely looked more Asian. People still think that I'm full Asian, and these videos are kind of strange for me to do, and now that I have curly hair most of the time, it's especially weird because I am mixed, so that's an awkward thing for me because while I am mixed, I'm half black. I was raised by my mom as a single parent, so she takes full responsibility for taking care of me and raising me to be a friendly human being. So credit to you, mom. So that's why it's kind of strange um, for me because I feel like people might get offended that I'm claiming to just be Asian American, Filipino American, but that's just the facts. I was raised just by her and I am American, first of all. Um, I claim to be American. I grew up with American culture, so I'm going to get into these questions and they're kind of deep, so I am hoping that I can answer them without freaking out and thoroughly. The first question is, what ethnicity are you? And I am Filipino, but also half black, so Filipino. Second question is which generation are you? And I am the first generation. And another fact is that amongst my mom's siblings, she's the first one to have a kid. So I'm also the oldest and I may have like second cousins that I grew up around when I was little. I don't have any like older adults in my family that are like cousins or anything so I've always kind of struggled with that because I'm the first one to go to college and like mess up a bunch of times and I wish that I had someone older than me to like guide me and that I could talk to that like went through it already <laughs> but that's me and my family and it really like sucks I hate it um, but I know that there are a lot of other people like that and I also have family and cousins that aren't actively in my life and they're doing it and they turn out fine so it's just really me wishing that I had an older cousin, sibling. <laughs> the third question is what is the first experience where you felt that demarcation of being a minority slash different? So I went to a very small Catholic school like small okay when you were in elementary school the classes were sometimes 20 kids but once you got to middle school they would sometimes dwindle down to 10 kids the first thing that made me feel different first of all was the fact that i was brown and i was tan and i was mostly around white kids um i did have close family like distant family not blood related um they were full filipino and we went to school starting in middle school together. So before that, it was just me and I felt the weird thing with food, that I would bring food to school and I was just not accepted by that situation. But I absolutely loved bringing food to school. So I ended up like getting lunch packs sometimes if it wasn't too strange or just getting the school lunch because it was really easy and convenient and my mom, you know, she had to pay for tuition and she also like helped the school out so my tuition could be lower and get free lunch. So that's what I did and that was the first time I felt different. Also, my hair was just, ugh, it was so poofy. It was cute, but she didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know what to do with it. So it was a situation with like having this like crazy curly hair and that was the situation. Fourth question is, were you always proud of your heritage or was there a time you rejected it? I've actually always been really proud to be Filipino and I love the fact that Filipinos have a reputation for being very friendly. And it's a weird thing because uh, I recently, I don't know if you guys have seen, um, Amy Wong, she has a stand-up on YouTube called Baby Cobra and Michael and I watched that together. It's very funny because in her stand-up, she describes two types of Asians, the fancy Asians and the jungle Asians and the Filipinos in her like categories are jungle Asians along with like Vietnamese 
and I forget the other one. And then the fancy Asians are like Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. So being a jungle Asian, which I think is so funny, I actually don't feel a stereotype pressure to be like super smart or anything. It's uh, definitely amongst the Filipino culture to like live up to those standards. But as far as the other cultures looking at Filipinos, I feel like the Filipinos like really work hard and of course they're like super smart Filipinos but I'm saying that I had never felt the pressure to be like very like smart at math and stuff it was more the pressure for my family to be as smart as like other kids and amongst like family also to be super smart and get good grades but I wasn't really good at academics I was more of an artsy kid so yeah that was very difficult for me I did not like school I still don't like school but I went to school, so that's what happened. <laughs> Number five, what are some stereotypes that you struggle with? So I never struggled with many stereotypes. Um, I know Filipino people are really good cooks and that's like a thing. People think that Filipinos are really good cooks and they are, they have, we have really good food. <laughs> so whenever there's like a food opportunity, I was always so excited to take it and like impress people with the Filipino food that I would bring because it's so delicious. This all sounds so bad when I'm saying it, but it really is just my real thoughts. I don't feel pressured to be like a top-notch student because I'm not Japanese or Korean or Chinese. I feel like those particular Asian cultures have that stereotype of like being super good at math. But Number six, can you speak their language? And yes, I can. I actually don't know which language I learned how to speak first. I've been going to the Philippines since I was two years old, so I definitely know that I learned Philippine. What? <laughs> I definitely know that I learned Tagalog there, and I'm really happy when I get to use it. I speak Tagalog to my cat. Um, unfortunately, Michael doesn't speak it, so it's kind of sad because yeah it's a lot it's gonna be hard for like our kid to learn it if we decide to have kids and i can get around in the philippines like fine i actually went into a canon store in the philippines to ask for a lens cap and i went in there with the intent to ask the people in tagalog and i actually have to think of like what i'm going to say how i'm going to describe it because i didn't know how to say lens cap and um yeah she thought that i was just from somewhere else in the philippines which is pretty cool because i was like kind of scared that i was gonna fuck it up and it was gonna like jumble in my mouth because my brain knows how to speak it but my mouth isn't as like well versed because it's just completely different number seven how has being asian american affected your relationship with your parents so this is an interesting question for me because i technically only have one parent my mom and this was very difficult for me growing up. So becoming a teenager and wanting to hang out with friends and making friends, first of all, I suck at making friends. I still don't know how to do it. Just the normal interaction in every day of high school, like wanting to hang out after school. I mean, there were some kids that I should not have been hanging out with and she caught me and thank God that ended because not a good influence. But just simple things like that, like wanting to date and what I wanted to do with my life after I went to college, we are going to go to college for, and the fact that I didn't want to become a nurse, because our first generation parents, they come here to make a better life for us, and you know, it's not about what you're good at, I feel like. I feel like it's, you know, how can you make money and be stable, and I think that it's an amazing mentality, but I feel like you should look at it like, oh, what are you good at? And that's something that I want to take into to consideration when I have a kid because that was a really big strain in my relationship. And also just communicating the different culture differences, like just hanging out. And when I was old enough to go out to a bar and I was 21 years old and finally had a friend to go out with and socialize, it was like, what are you doing? Like, where are you going? What is this? It was just weird because, you know, it always come back to, well, when I was in the Philippines and your age, I didn't do any of that. But that's the whole point. It's like, we're in America and we're not in the Philippines. So that was a very, you know, bad struggle for us. And thank goodness communication wasn't bad. Like she speaks English, my mom. I think the main communication goal was 
um, being seen as a kid for so long, and this goes for not even Asians, but being seen as a child for so long, and you have to like listen to your parents if you're you know a good kid, um, and trusting your parents to all of a sudden having a voice and being able to reflect a little bit on what's going on and the things that you want to do versus the things your parents want to do, and you may look like you're older, but you're still not thinking like an adult. It's it's just this very weird stage in your life from like 18 to 25 even because your brain isn't fully developed until 25. God, I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. I lost my train of thought guys. I hate this. The eighth question is how do you feel about your heritage now and do you identify with it? So I absolutely love my heritage and I am obsessed with going to the Philippines and eating food anytime that I can, you know, indulge in the snacky snacks. I absolutely love my heritage. I love the fact that um, we're very welcoming people. We're super friendly. I try to hold up to that standard very much. I don't like bullying. I don't like being mean. Um, I don't like insulting people's food. Eat whatever you want. Um, health is also a thing. I mean, like Filipino food isn't the healthiest for you, but I always love um, exposing people to Filipino food and even sharing like recipes if things are super easy I'm like go try it <laughs> look it up on Google you have to make it and the last question is what is your favorite thing about being Asian American slash your heritage my favorite thing about being Filipino American is that people I feel like they like Filipinos and it's pretty pretty cool and I have friends that are also like Filipino or Asian and I feel like it is such a a bond like when you find another person that's either Filipino or like Asian um, it's an instant bond and that's also the reason why I think I really enjoy watching Asian youtubers is because they feel my struggle <laughs> as far as like dealing with parents and things like that and I love the homeland the Philippines I love going back not really the cities but I'm not really like a city person but I love like experiencing all the different places over there and our food is amazing there's so many like different dishes and it's easy to make like it's no fuss I absolutely love that and I love that whenever I go to a Filipino like store or restaurant I always feel so at home like so I don't know like filled with love like the food is filled with love and the people are so nice and what is it called we're so personable Filipinos are so personable and easy to talk to I absolutely love that growing up my friends would always say my mom was super funny and that's where I get her from um, we're just really funny people my family is like really silly so that about wraps it up for the video I know super rambly but this is really like a spur of the moment thing for me and I have a hard time answering questions sometimes so if you are also a Pacific what what? So if you're also Asian American, please answer the questions. You can do a video. Leave some answers in the comments down below and let me know what you think. If you had any like shared struggles, I'd love to see what you guys have to say. And thank you guys so much for watching and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.